Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Chit Chat with Ina. So, if you're new to my channel, I have this series wherein I talk about random things. Okay, so for today, we are going to be talking about my future plans. I'm gonna be sharing with you the habits that I do for me to be able to achieve those dreams. So, I know that there's a saying to work silently on your plans and your dreams. But what I'm going to share with you is not your typical I want to get married at this age, I want to have a house at this age, kids, cars at this age, and I want to have XX money in my bank account by this time. So my dream is really simple to be honest. Okay, so my first goal in life is to have a space wherein I can take care of a lot of pets and of course a space that's enough for me and my future family to live comfortably so it doesn't have to be a mansion all I want is a really nice space for us to live comfortably and my second goal which is kind of the goal kung saan umiikot yung mundo ko which is to be blessed enough to become a blessing to others doesn't matter kung paano paraan ako makakatulong sa ibang tao I remember when I was in high school yata or elementary pa lang siguro my dream is to have a charity and to have a shelter for stray animals so yun talaga yung pinaka goal ko in life just want to have a shelter for people and animals in need. Now I'm gonna share with you the 10 habits that I try to practice as much as possible for me to be able to achieve that future goal. So number one, I visualize my goal and when I do it, I imagine it vividly. I imagine all the things that I'm doing in the future. When I have that big picture ready, I section it to smaller pictures, which is my daily life. Now that I have that picture, we are going to move on to number two, which is also the most important habit and mindset for me right now, which is to live in the present, be present, and focus on the now. Because our present is our only reality. This is the only thing that we have. And let's face it, we can't really go back to the past to change it. And we can't really jump to the future para masilip natin yung naghihintay sa atin sa future. So what we have is today. I don't wait for tomorrow. I don't wait for the future. What I do is, kung ano yung nai-imagine ko na future self ko, I incorporate it to my present self and live as if I am my future self. What I do today will affect my tomorrow, so might as well do everything that I want and live today with no regrets. Because if there's one thing that this pandemic has taught me, it's that tomorrow is uncertain and all you really have is today. Yeah, so if I have what I want to do, if I have what I want to do, I will make sure to make a move na kahit pa paano, sisimulan kong matutunan yung bagay na yun. Number three, I acknowledge and celebrate the small bits because sometimes we're too focused on the bigger picture na we forget our small victories and it's so important to acknowledge them because it will always make us feel productive like meron tayong nagawang maganda. So no matter how small it is, you have to acknowledge it and thank yourself for doing that thing, for achieving something, even if it's super small lang. You have to be proud of yourself and you have to validate your achievements because it's hard kung palagi tayong umaasa sa iba for validation. Number four is to have a grateful heart and mind. So every day, the first thing that I do is thank the Lord for opening my eyes and for giving me another day. And I noticed that when I started being thankful for everything, mas lalong naging lighter yung buhay ko. And mas naging positive yung outlook ko in life when I started being thankful even on the smallest things. I learned to appreciate more and expect less. Number five, I create opportunities for myself. Because if I don't do it, if I don't open doors for myself, the universe will not open it for me. It really starts with ourselves. I don't really wait around and expect for opportunities to knock on my door. I make sure na meron akong ginagawa para lumapit sa akin yung mga opportunities na yun. I create opportunities for myself to learn, to grow, and most especially to fail because if hindi tayo mag-fail sa buhay, wala tayong matututunan. I make sure to be open to learnings 
always. <laughs> Number six, I ride and enjoy the cycles of life. Each and every one of us has our own cycles. We have different ups and downs. So I learned to ride it and enjoy it and make sure to learn from anything that comes my way. I stopped focusing na masama yung nangyayari sa akin. Instead, I focus on what I will learn from that moment in my life. Number seven is to help and be open to help because we are not made to be alone in this world and we are not born to be the greatest. And I accepted that sometimes I need help from others for me to be able to help others as well because I feel like helping is a cycle. Parang pag mayroon tayong tinulungan, yung tinulungan natin magiging inspired din siyang tumulong sa iba and eventually it will make the world a better place. <laughs> So number eight, I stopped comparing myself and my life to others because I think I've said this multiple times in my videos before that there's really no point in comparing yourself to others because we all have different paths. We have different journeys. Kumbaga magkakaiba tayo ng buhay. So, bakit ko hahabulin yung achievements sa ibang tao kung meron akong sariling achievements na naghihintay for me? Even here in YouTube, why will I compare myself to someone who started 5 years or 10 years ago? Because, di ba, parang dinedeprive ko yung sarili ko ng lahat ng learnings na pwede kong matutunan along the ride kung masyado ko naghahabol sa achievements ng iba. So, I really stopped doing that. And I know that it's super easy for us to compare ourselves Especially in the world of social media where we see all the good things happening from other people. But every time I find myself comparing, I really stop myself and just focus on my own, focus on my life. And nagbago yung buhay ko, yung ginawa ko yun. Number nine is to take a break whenever I need to, no matter how often it means. Kasi we all have different struggles, we have different environments. So when I say to take a break, no matter how often it is, I mean it in a way na kapag alam mong hindi mo kaya or hindi mo pa kaya, then take your time. Sometimes when we push ourselves too hard, mas lalo tayong walang nagagawang maganda. So last but not the least is I try to be consistent with anything as much as possible. It can be in the smallest things like fixing my bed in the morning or working out two to three times a week. Because consistency is key, consistency is power. And when we practice consistency, we make progress. I really try my best to practice these habits consistently. So my camera died. So if you are feeling stuck or if you feel like the future is unattainable, then please try to shift your mindset and look at things in a different perspective. Focus on your small wins because once you do that, it's easier for us to achieve bigger things. So again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!